How's your audio? Good, man. How about yours? Oh, sounding good. Let's get this thing started. Let's do it. Like Welcome, everybody, to another George Archery podcast. Podcast number 35. 35. What's going on, brother? Man, I'm trying to get this George Archery sticker to stick to my cup. <laughs> it's always something. And man. we ain't getting along. The struggle is real. The struggle is <clears throat> real this morning. <laughs> well, uh, how was your weekend? It was good. It was a good weekend. Good weekend. Hey, it it, it didn't rain Saturday. No, it didn't rain Saturday, but <laughs> it's rained every other day. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's been three days in a row that it hasn't rained. I don't think there's been 36 hours in a row that had that it hasn't rained. Yeah, so, um, but there was a lot of shooting going on in the state, and uh yeah, you know, dude, you didn't tell me about your weekend before we get into all that. Uh, what, how was your weekend? My weekend was good. Um, I, uh, you know, watched some folks uh, do their thing and uh, actually ran archery classes for the first time in a while. And then uh, we had folks wandering back and forth from the shoot. And then Sunday, I was going to go shoot a qualifier, but the flood came. The rain. So, um, I was like, nah, I mean, I don't mind. Like I said, I don't mind cold, you know? Yeah. I'm with you. I don't and mind I, the cold at and, all. And I really don't mind wet in the summertime, you know, cool you off, but I don't like, I don't like cold and wet. So Mm-mm. that put me on the, on the end of that. The so. do not shoot list. That's right. The or am not going to shoot am list. Am not going to shoot list. And then I went back home. I climbed in my, uh, recliner. And I fell asleep because I, yeah. I was yeah, supposed. We heard I was supposed to be somewhere that afternoon and didn't quite make it as early as I supposed to. Mm-hmm. But that's all right. We got it all did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, overall it was a good weekend. It was a good weekend. Oh yeah, and I did uh, fire up the grill. I think that. Yeah, um, my uh, mother's husband came over. He had never he'd not been to the new house, and uh, he came over and. He's one of his things was you gonna grill, <laughs> so well, yeah, that's that's kind of the thing. I mean, you know, if they you go to your house, you every, everybody gotta grill. Everybody invites themselves over, and then they go, "Hey, you gonna fire up the grill, right?" Well, luckily it wasn't raining, so it was all right. I finally got my. You got your cup all decorated. It didn't go quite as good as I wanted it to, but but it works. It's early. That's it's right. Early, still early because we didn't get done last night, so we're up there early this morning to do it. Yeah. Well, uh, this weekend that was is. yeah. Well, it's still early. This weekend there was a lot of shooting going on. Let's talk about something that happened during the week. It was the twelfth, so that would have been Wednesday, probably about the time that we were doing the podcast that day. Mm-hmm. And uh, I believe it was. I missed it. So I'm putting it on the list because we don't talk about this very often. Probably not as often as we should. You're right. In all honesty. So uh, the Georgia NASP Northern Regional Qualifier was over in Athens on Wednesday. Sweet. And uh, we always talk about archers, right? So they had uh, they had um, high school male had 66 archers there just to do just in the high, high school, school male, male class mm-hmm. um, open bear bow hunter bear bow yep. uh, uh, no, I know what it is yeah 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 and then um genesis only right so they were all bear bows yeah <laughs> <laughs> um in the high school female had another 66 archers that's 132 archers just in the high school class middle school male had 94 archers Wow, look at those numbers. Middle school female had 61 archers. Elementary school male, 111. Dude, now here's the question. It's early. I'm just going to bring it to you straight. (laughs) You ready? Yeah. 
how do we get those numbers to convert? Uh, well, we'll get into that. Work, that's yeah. a rabbit hole. Let's that's just a, go down it. How oh do my. we get those numbers to convert? Well, here's because <laughs> if you look at those numbers, you got 132 in the high school. Quick math, you got 155 or so, 165 in the middle school, and 215 in the elementary. or so in elementary. So two fifteen three four. That's close to five hundred shooters. That's just in the regional qualifier. Just in the regional qualifier. And here's the deal: the way they work is if they don't hit a certain score, they don't go to state. So you enter, they cutting some of those not to go to state. And state's going to have about a thousand. How do we get those numbers to convert? Well, I've been, uh, you know, I think what we do here has done pretty well in that. I would I would agree. Because I would agree a whole wholeheartedly. But as a norm or as a whole as a whole across the nation, there's not a conversion. Two percent it's 3%. a very, very small. Um and I I've been trying to figure out why and I don't know, I mean, hats off to every school that runs this program. Absolutely. I mean, there's volunteers involved. That's parents, right. Parents and patients. Um, it's uh, a teacher that decided that they would do one extra thing or a coach that coaches volleyball decided that they would put this program in. So all in all, I mean, it's a great thing. It grows the sport to a point, but the conversion is not there. So... As S3DA coaches, 4-H coaches, Joe Ad coaches, yep. how do we convert them? That uh, is the question of the day. Well, my question thing, of the week. My thing is with the – it's sort of like when you when you talk to a 4-H – let's just go 4-H because that's what we did with more, you know. Mm-hmm. So there's two major tournaments. Right. A couple of practice tournaments. Right. And then you're done. Done. So what? same thing is here. You go through school – and you're done after the state, and then if you make nationals. Uh-huh. So what if a kid likes it, you have to show them that there's something that can be done more. You know? Right. That there's more to it. The other side of it is that now that Bear Bow has been brought back into U.S. archery and has brought back into – NFAA, I think the conversion can help because that equipment matches that class, class. or what they shoot. So um, I'd like to see them converted into a full t- target rig, or that's never going to happen, or a bow hunt. That's rig. never going to happen. But at least here's the way I look at it: at least if we have the option of a bare bow class in the other organizations then there can be some draw over and then what happens is they go man look at all that stuff that guy's got on that boat and then they go the, that way right and i don't disagree with yeah. you at all at all however and i and i understand the schools as a whole's point of view of protecting the children it's got to be a school employee Yep, that's a coach. Got to be. Yep, and they take a little coaching class and right. You know. However, I think another way to help get some conversion, so to speak, is if you got someone like us mm-hmm. that safe sports certified. Yep. Either USA Archery, 4H. Yep. Uh, S3DA. Mm-hmm. How come we can't help help participate and coach well, a I, school team? Not that we got time. Yeah. Um, just thinking in general. Mm-hmm. That would be one way to get, uh, hey. Yep. I'm, come. Oh, yeah. Try this. Try this. Yep. Come shoot some 3D with us <laughs> this weekend. With, uh, with parents, it's an equipment buying issue. Some of them, I, yes. I already for bought, sure. I already bought this equipment. Why is this equipment no good? I'm not telling you it's not. Okay? Right. It's just different. It's just different. Yeah, for sure. And I understand and, that. And, and I got that. But I, I think that the introduction of 3D at the NAS program is helping. I would think so. Um, drawing some interest. It's drawing some interest to go, oh, that's pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Um, biggest, longest distance they shoot is 15 meters. Mm-hmm. So then when you tell them... 25 yards they go Ooh. 
Yeah, but I can do it. I know, but it's it's a scary thing. So you have to sort of, you know, slowly but surely. Get I don't like my cup wrinkling like it is. I'm sorry. So, uh, are we, we I can, know that's a rabbit hole. I just, <laughs> I know, I, and I've, I've said, you've heard me talk about this for years. That says I don't understand why we can't get a conversion, and I don't know if it's, and I don't know the right answer. Yeah, I'm just talking in general here. I'd just like to see more of a conversion. Yeah, me too. I mean, when you when you think about, they set the Guinness Book of World Records for the most archers in one place at one time shooting a bow, and then how many of those are actually now tournament archers? I mean, two percent. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and I think the S three D A is a our, good bridge. Our hunters. Well, I mean, the S three D A was invented from that reason. I, I know. I mean, that's the uh, reason it was done. Well, the lady that kind of started the NAS. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, kind of started, started the S three D A. That's right. So, and that was her mindset. Is that with the S three D A is the equipment thing, and I understand that completely. But you know not, who would be a good guest for something like this? Who's that at this point in time? Mr. Jake Martin. Yeah, well, we have to get him. He he drives to work every morning, so we I know, have to we catch need him to get on a, this whole deal where we can take phone calls figured out that well, we talked got, about last I, year. I got that part figured out. Remember, we, just, we got it. We just ain't done it yet. We but. just need to try. Let's uh, let's move on. Move on. So, in the high school male um, NAS top three shooters, um, Nathan, Nathan Durst. Durst with a two ninety five out of three hundred. That's shooting. Um, this guy is a crossover. Um, Matthew Russell from Loganville w- mm. with a two ninety one. Uh, uh, yeah, he that boy can flat pound. All right, and then um, third place was Nathan Abercrombie. Yep, Abercrombie. So I we're gonna right. we're gonna talk about it. the first one was from Walnut Grove High School. Mm-hmm. The next the next two were from, from Loganville. Loganville. Mm-hmm. So uh, on the female side. Uh, Miss Michaela Keller. Yep, Walnut Grove. Samantha Garrison. Yep. Eagles Nest. Eagles Nest. And then Miss Isabel, Isabel Smith. Smith. At, also at Eagles Nest. Yep. Two eighty eight so, for Michaela. Two eighty three for Samantha, and a two eighty for Miss Isabel. Yep. That's good, good shooting. shooting. Yeah, I couldn't shoot two eighty with one of those <laughs> things. Not at all. Uh, middle school male. There were ninety four archers, dude. That's a whole lot of youngins. Uh, Nate Wilburn, Wilburn from Loganville uh, with a 290. 290. Matthew, you better watch out. Boy. <laughs> it looks Seth, like Mr. Nate's coming for you. Seth Long was from North Whitfield, shot a 281. Ryder Goodson with a 280 at Loganville. Loganville. And the girls in the middle school female class, you got Miss Annalise. Yeah, go get yeah, it. Um, go get it. Yeah, I got. Mm, nothing per, for that Perdez, one. Perdez, 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 right, yeah. from Loganville with a two eighty five, two eighty five. Miss Ashlyn Miller from North, North Whitfield, Whitfield with eighty three, and Miss J C Belcher, Belcher from North. Maybe Whitfield. I hope I didn't booger yeah. that one up too bad. Two seventy nine from North Whit- Whitfield. Now elementary school male. There was a hundred and eleven elementary school male kids. Daddy, I want to go shoot a bow. I want to shoot a bow. That's I want right. to shoot a bow. That's right. So fifth grade up, man. They got 24 on the team. <clears throat> Gavin Slusher. Slusher from uh, Bay Creek. Bay Creek Elementary? Yep. Shot a two. Hey, that's where old Bay Creek, Bay Creek. No, that's where Brian Hobbs used to yeah. be. 272. Uh, Patrick Zobran from Loganville. 70. Mm, 270. 270. Marshall Myers. From Sharon Elementary with a 266. 266. And then the girls? The elementary school female class with 94 94. archers. Yep. Miss Gina Park from Bay Creek Elementary with a 279. Yep. Miss Kalina Lohr from Bethlehem Bethlehem. with a 270. Yep. And Miss Morgan Abercrombie. From Loganville. That name with a sounds familiar. Nathan yeah. and Mammy. Hmm. Yeah. Loganville. Brother Let's and see. sister. Probably so. I can't guarantee that. Yeah, that would be my guess. From <laughs> That's high our school guess. to elementary school. Yep. Brothers helping sister. Yep. 
their point spread difference is only about 24 points. They, Nathan, you better get on the ball because Miss Morgan. <laughs> she's coming after you. Yeah, she's coming out. I'm going well, to uh, beat Bubba. I'm going to con- beat Bubba. Yep. Congratulations to all the kids that shot that event because um, they're working for points to uh, make state. State is going to be March 6th. Where is it going to be held In at? Perry. Down in Perry at the uh, Port at the Center. At the mm-hmm. fairground. Yeah. This sticker wrinkling on my cuff is really making you mad. I can see that. Um, so, uh, we don't talk about NASP enough, but that is a program that runs almost every week somewhere. Yes. Um, they practice every two two times a week or four times a week um, before school, after school, something. They do it. And it's, you know, those. And some of them kids are flat pounding, man. Yeah. They're shooting better scores with that thing than some with that a, I can shoot with my compound with a sight and long bars and release aids and everything else. That's right. Airs. So. But what else was going on this weekend? Nothing. That was it. No, I don't think so. Uh, really? Yeah. You remember uh, that? Uh, oh, Grandma had a ASA yeah, qualifier. Other things going on. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Sorry, I was sleeping. <laughs> yeah, Grandma had a ASA qualifier. She shot on Saturday and Sunday. Well, it ain't but a well, few. Well, she shot, shot on Saturday because it rained on Sunday. There was a few that diehards. I I was there, and those guys went out, and I'm like, dude, y'all gonna be like wet puppies when y'all get back. <laughs> Cold <laughs> y'all pneumonia. Y'all can have it. So, uh, she had about 23 shooters. 23 or 25. So, in other words, the weather did get her. I um, mean, it yeah, really did. absolutely. So, uh, Mr. It, Ryan Lockhart in the led known the K-50 50 class with eight up. Good shooting, Ryan. Yep. And Chad, Chad Thickpin Thick shot even. I'd be happy with even. I ain't, I ain't broke even yet. And then known 45, host Steve, Steve Milton, Milton would six, six up. up. And Daniel Hill even. Yep. Well, then old Sambo had a shoot. Just down the road. Yeah. He had 56 shooters. Good shooting Sambo. So uh, there's this little guy that went over there and shot. I don't know if you know this guy. Never heard of her. Never heard of her. Uh, Curtis Broadnack shot 226. With 13 12. With 13 12. Good shooting, bud. Good shooting, Curtis. And, and, and you know who was down with him? Who's that? Or who was competing against not only Sambo, but old Justin Hanna was yep. in town. Oh, Justin Hanna was Mr. in town. Mr. Inside out of 27 in Vegas, yeah. Justin Hanna. And uh, he finished behind Curtis. Finished behind Curtis. What a 222. Curtis was flat pounding before he left and went to go to Vegas. He was. I he sat is. here and watched him in this range. He has. Arrow after arrow. He, he has put in the time, X after dude. X after X. He after put X. in the time. He shot some of the. And, and, and he had his best Vegas. Um, in the pro class. In the pro class. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's a different monster, man. Well, I can't that even imagine. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I mean, there's I can't a, even imagine. there's a, there's a, I don't know, there's a, a feel when you get down there on that floor. Um, yeah. Just in, just in general. I'm sure. And then, uh, rounding out the top three over there was Seth Green with a 20 up. 20 up. Yeah. So, uh, I'm glad just to shoot 20 down. Yeah. So, um, also, uh, Ace Archery, you ever been there? Where? Yeah, that's, uh, so over there in Social Circle. Who? Yeah. So, um, Ace Archery had their 3D shoot, and uh, we had our 3D shoot, and we had 61 archers show up. Best shoot ever. That was a good, good man. We had Best turnout ever. Yeah, good turnout. Um, Uh, The range was long. I haven't heard anybody say anything <laughs> but, bad, but they all said. However, they did say, and I heard this a lot. It's long. It was long. But there was a couple of targets that, and he. I'll will tell you why. Okay, I, I'm gonna be. <clears throat> we're gonna we we're had gonna some, break it down. We had some help setting the targets mm-hmm. and setting the stakes. But when we were work, when we was working on the range Friday, rumor had it. Rumor had it that there was a, about four pros in town that may come by. Yep. and shoot. That's right. And I, I'm not going to mention any names. No, but they may come by and shoot. So from the black stake, it was long. <laughs> I tried to make it, or we tried to make it beneficial for them to go to Foley. That's right, and be able to, you know, be close. I mean, because <laughs> their average is mm. 48 yards, probably yeah. 46 to 48 yards on average. Yeah. Uh, so so we did that. <laughs> now that we there were some take me. Oh, I'm not saying that we didn't have a give. We didn't yard, have a give me whatever that little new thing is yeah. that if you shoot a low eight, you probably just shot a five. Yeah, I forget the name of that little Wolver- creature. Wolverine, Wolverine maybe. Mm-hmm. But then there were some give me backs too. Yeah. 
and I shot an eight on one of them. Uh, but it's okay. It but, happens. But there were some. There were some take me's. Yeah. Fifty one yard deer with no legs. But to to when you, I, you know looking over the scores, uh, known trophy. Oh Blake Clifton shot fourteen up, so it couldn't have been too long. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Well, Blake can shoot. But. Yes, but I'm not. I'm th- not taking nothing away from him. But you know, when you have a really hard course, the scores are always a little lower. Yeah, I think he shot from the white stake though, but, not the black stake. Well, yeah, he shot from the forty five. But uh, and then old Danny Brandon Beard, Beard with a ten, 10 up. up. And Keith Morris. Old Spoon. With a one up. Good shooting, guys. So um that was the uh notables. Um North Forty had about twenty three shooters. I'm skipping over because that one was a Sunday shoot. Gotcha. I was uh, y'all can't see our two know, pages we, of notes, notes that we got going on here and John has got it all laid out nice and pretty and so uh North Forty had a shoot and they had about twenty three archers. And uh, Weston Skipper come out on the high school open class. What with a, a two hundo even. And then in the forty five, oh James, gosh, I can't even I'm look. Glad God, you got God, that one. God, glad, 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 glad. Anyway, two oh eight. Good last week. Yeah, and then Hunter Connors with a two oh six in the open C class. Now this is a class that you don't hear talk when I seen this on the notes, I'm like, yeah, I gotta say I got to make sure I point this. People out. don't run an open this C This is locally. not a class that you see on a local level much anymore. No, not anymore. Because um, everything's gone known or Yeah, in the in or I know just pretty much Yeah. I mean they sort of in our at your local level, if you start running all of the classes then you you don't have I don't know. So you get two in this and three in that and four in that. You don't get a crowd of folks. Like our known 45 class had the majority of the people. Right, right. So Because you, you sort of lump all of those people who are known into one group. And then, um, but, so Open C, who was, who was first? Sorry, I was looking I at know. our picture on the Facebooks and seeing who was saying what. Brian Lepper, Lepper. Truck. Yeah, uh-huh. see, I had to hand it Leap to truck. you. Yeah, you Ten up. fed me that one. Mm, Danny Morris. Yep, six up. And Mr. Bubba Cannon. Four up. Hey, that that name. I saw John Cannon on Saturday. John Cannon walked up in here on Saturday. Yes, he, he did. did. First time I, I mean, I've only seen him <clears> a couple of times in like forever. A billion years. Yeah. But it was good to see him. It was. Um, then uh, North Ridge had about 30 shooters, and old Blake Reagan laid it down. Just went over there and just did the thing. 16 up with a different bow than he'd been shooting. Mm-hmm. Oh, He's got like four different ones. I don't know. Bouncing He's back. bouncing Monday back and bow, forth. Monday bow, Tuesday bow, Wednesday bow, I, I Thursday so. bow. Um, Flint River Archery had, had a, a few shooters. shooters. We got to work on getting a participation up south, down that way. In the south. In the Sowiga area. Well, not just, I mean, you you the think South about, we, we run the, I mean, you're doing the S3DA, right? And okay. you understand that in that one section down there, it's they don't have enough clubs. And no, they a, don't they, have much you know, participation it's at just, all. just, we got to figure out how to grow the, that corner of the state, man. Right, and it's going to happen in time. Yeah. Uh, but it'd be nice if, if uh, and they shoot on Saturdays, which is hard for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but if we could get a group of guys together and just say, hey, man, here's the address. Go down there. They're, they're, they're great guys. It's a great place to shoot. Their well, lanes are clear. But they're getting frustrated because if you don't have participation, there ain't no reason to do it. Right. And I understand that. And I really hate to see some, something <laughs> that has been a lot of effort that's yeah. been put into this place. Oh, yeah. Place. I mean, we know how much lanes, effort. Dude, their right. lanes are beautiful oh, there's some, walking down. There's some gorgeous places uh, layout. I've seen plenty of pictures. I just been outside there, of Leesburg. Yep. Uh, it's a it, it's a beautiful place to to shoot. It's run by some fantastic guys, and archery in that area will grow in in, in due time. But for now, if we can help generate some participation down there, uh, Blake, Reagan, and just uh, the, the just Austin anybody, Nicks anybody, and let's just get a group together one day and just show up at one of their shoots. Yep. Saturdays are hard for me just because the day of the week it is, and well, Bam having to work. Bam had their uh, ACL <coughs> archery church league shoot sixty two youth archers. That's good. That's a lot. So uh, 
They uh, ended up with sixty-two youth. Man, that's 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 killing it. Sixty-two youths. And then on Sunday, Ogeechee Bowman has shotgun start ten o'clock. Ended up with about thirty-three shooters. Oh, Tony Millsap shot twelve up in the known Good 50. shooting, Tony. And then uh, Kyle K- Koska you got that one. shot four up. I don't know if y'all know it, but we don't want to booger your names. But, but we ain't the smartest folks in the in the. In the, in the in you the, said it, not me. I'm, well, I, I'll admit, I you know, it, names are some, one thing that's different. Anyway, known forty five old Derek Horn with twelve up. <laughs> Yes, sir. Good shooting, Mr. Derek Stone Parsons with an even. Yep. Coming in second. And then the men's senior, old Buster Marshall with an 18 up. That's your class, ain't it? No, sir. I ain't got there yet. You sure? I'm positive. I might. I feel like it. I'm ready. I'm. 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 I'm gonna. Ha- I got a birthday, and it still won't get there. That's what makes it so bad. Got. Got. Or a, good. You know. Whatever. You no, I mean, you know, I'm about ready. I'm tired of competing with them young kids. Um, <laughs> Bob. Bob Costco um, ended up with uh, eight up and uh, Mr. Wild, Wild Bill, Bill shot a 96. So, good shoot, uh, Mr. Bill. Good job. All of y'all. And then old Rocky Creek had their shoot, and well, they had the rain. Yeah. Um, yeah they rained it out. Um, I talked to Todd. He said, look, he said, I talked to Kaylee and I, she's like, we were supposed to have folks because they had sort of the same feel, right? Mm-hmm. But the rain came, and uh, he's like, look, I'm not, whoever paid, give them their money back, let them shoot. They can lock the gate when they leave. He said, because he said, there were some crazy folks out there. He said, Sam went down there and shot in the rain. He goes, because heck, in Foley, it's probably going to rain. Right now, it don't matter where you are, it's probably going to rain. It seems like I know my place at, back home is flooded yeah so our topic of the day was um rain <laughs> nasp and then uh and then nasp and then the rain and then rain so who's shooting this weekend anything big nope I'm going home you're going home yep no you're not going home there's the kickoff of the asa pro am tour asa pro am this weekend yep and foley Foley, alabama Alabama. so everybody's rolling out yeah i've seen several guys hooked to their trailers (laughs) or their campers rather that's right foley hitting foley lucky so i I can't say on here what i want to say all them snappy all them snaps that i seen rolling 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 olin price with his (laughs) with his rig hooked up that's I think right. Grandma got her a new Grandma one. got her brand new rig she's rolling with. Um, I uh, wish everybody, all of the Georgia archers, a good luck down there. Good luck. Um, I stay, got a request. Stage dry. I got a request. What's that? Go by the gas booth uh-huh. and buy you a 3D journal. That's right. Everybody needs whether a 3D Whether you journal. need it or not, it's 13 bucks. Whether you need it or not, but go get go pick one up. Give it to somebody. Give it to a kid. That's right. Just go by there. Tell Eric thanks for, for taking them to the ASAs. Buy one and use it or give it away. Yep. So that one runs all weekend long. Thursday. Friday. Friday Saturday, Saturday. And Sunday. Sunday. So we get to see the shoot down on Saturday. Yeah. Um. So, uh, good luck to everybody who's going down there. How many of them do we know that's going? You think? I'm not even going to count that high, dude. I can't. I ain't got enough fingers. I watched. Toes. I watched a young man come in here buy a bow yes yesterday evening and set it up, and he's going to go win <laughs> sure it. Show did. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, good luck to him. Good luck to everybody. Good luck, else. Mr. Nathan Dennis. So, um, the uh, there's a there's another little tournament going on this weekend. Yeah. Um, two tournaments in one weekend? Well, <laughs> this is like two, two big, big tournaments, tournaments. Uh, in one weekend? U.S. Archery Indoor Nationals and Joad. They host that in seven locations, and this time the Georgia location is this weekend. What's next weekend? Uh, we ain't talking about next weekend. I'm just curious. Anything big next weekend? Uh, yeah, the S3DA State Indoor. Yeah. You'll be down there. Yeah. But I'm just curious why they would they would schedule we're not, indoor we're not gonna, on top we, of it. I don't want to go through all of that. But that's another rabbit hole. There's 174 Joad archers registered for that event, and over 300 archers registered for the nationals. That's a lot. They're in Swanee. They'll be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
So that's where you'll be. Yep, that's where I'll be. So that's why you don't get to go to Foley. Pretty much. I haven't ever been to Foley. Because of this same shoot and conflict. Pretty much. What I'll go. So, um, yeah, there'll be a crowd of folks over there in Swanee. Um, George Riles and the Archery Learning Center is hosting that event. Do they typically host it? Yeah, I mean, you put, a, I they put, you put a bid in for it. And they usually get it. I mean, if you if here's the way if you run in a if you run the tournament multiple years and you've ran it well and there ain't been a lot of complaints, most likely you're going to win the bid again. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's uh what's going on this weekend and on Saturday. If you're not going to U.S. Archery Nationals or you're not going to Foley, Alabama, Team On Point is having a 3D shoot. Is it open to like? Yes. So anybody can go? Yep. Anybody can go. I want, I'd like to go Saturday. shoot 3D, but it's a Saturday. Saturday. So, anywho, that's uh, what's going on this weekend. Good luck, because everybody knows. In other words, there'll be a lot of Georgia shooting a lot of arrows. And it's supposed to be cold. Yeah, that's why I don't mind being at Indoor Nationals this time. Because supposed to be Inside, cold. Yeah, and I'm going up, so it's in Squawney. It's on that line that they're talking about ice and snow tomorrow. Hee <laughs> Um. Anyway, <laughs> if you're if you if you're out shooting, uh, either way, and you're a Georgia archer, and when you post something, put the tag on it, Georgia archery. Georgia hashtag, archery. Hashtag, hashtag Georgia archery, so we can see it. Since uh, we don't get to go to Foley, anybody that's at Foley, post a hashtag. Yeah, it's just that it's that little number looking sign. Yeah, pound with George Archer right behind. Yep. It. Yeah, spelled out George Archer. Spelled out. Yep. So uh, be sure to like us on Facebook, Insta- please. Instagrams, Chap Snatters, Chap Snatters, Tweeters. Do you ever do any like the stories on Chap Snatters or Snapchats, whatever it's called? Sometimes. I mean, not much. I get on there every now and then. I, yeah. I'm not cool enough to have many. Yeah. Chap Snatter snap. Uh, yeah. I don't. Well, I can tell you this that I did see a whole lot of headed to Foley's on the stories this weekend. This didn't last, you know, this morning and yesterday, yesterday evening. So, <clears throat> um, <laughs> next stop, Foley. Um, you know, so, but you can find all of this information on our website at www.georgearchery.com Yep, and if you need to contact us, you can contact Call Big John, uh, Big John at 911. No. Yeah. Oh. You can uh, contact us at georgearchery at gmail.com. Oh, that's how you do it. Yeah, and, um, you know, uh, we didn't have a lot of comments on our picture stuff, so we got to yeah, figure out something different. Yeah, we got to do did, something different. That didn't work out too well. What? I don't know. We'll, 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 we're gonna, I got a pack of broadheads around here somewhere. I, yeah, well. Well, they may not be getting those. I mean, we, them's mine. Uh, we, we'll have to figure out something new and, and then run it as a as a post so we'll see what happens instead of just on the audio side. Maybe we can get – I tell you what, the, the likes are growing on Facebook. Yes. Um. So tell everybody – I got a message last night. Uh-huh. Probably around 10, 1030. Yep. Hey man, I'm like, yep. I'm like, I didn't see a post about the podcast tonight. <laughs> I'm like, yep. It'll be. We up. didn't get a chance to do it. I had to roll out yep. after uh, after 4H practice, and so we're gonna try to get her done in the morning. He was like, okay, okay. <laughs> well, we appreciate everybody listening. Uh, you can find us anywhere that um, podcast. podcast can be found. Yeah, and then here, tell everybody about it because the more that know about it, the more information we can get. Like there was a couple of clubs that hadn't been added or didn't add, and we got them done and that kind of stuff. So, you know, the only way we can cover you on the dates is for you to tell us. And if you don't know us, you can't tell us, right? I know, yeah. So uh, if we don't know you, we can't. That's yeah, exactly you know. right. So, um, yeah, I mean, make sure you tell everybody about it. Um, grow Let's, we got some uh, stickers, man. We got some stickers we can give away. Yeah, we got stickers we can give we away. We need to just take it. Well, you can't take a ride Sunday to Foley. That's, that's kind of a long Well, you can take ride. a ride to Foley if you want to. I got things I have to be. Yeah, that's kind of a long ride yeah. for a day trip. Um, uh, Rumor has it that there'll be a, a Georgia Archer in uh, um, Phoenix City or wherever they're calling it. Russell 
County, I guess it's what it's listed as. Mm-hmm. That's what rumors has it, but I don't know if that's true or not. We will figure that out. All right. Okay. Might, might just have to leave you all by your lonesome. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. I <laughs> so you talking about the next shoot? Uh, something like that. Yeah. So no, <laughs> no, I don't mind. Um. Well, here's the way that works, and we always have worked it that way. You go one, I go one. We try to break it up so everybody, mm-hmm. you know, and you know. Well, I think Steve O's going to the next. Well, you know, Steve O's going. He's just, you know, that's it is run by you know his group. So, uh, anyway, uh, we done rambled enough. Um, thirty four, thirty four minutes worth of talking, and uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, I got nothing else. All right, then. Well, until next time. I'm Big John. And I'm Robbie. We'll see you. We'll see you.